Hello, welcome to Datalon. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a bubble chart in Adobe Illustrator with our plugin Datalon for Illustrator. Make sure to download the plugin and add it to your Illustrator. You can find the dataset that we will be using in the description below. To make this bubble chart, we will use two indicators. GDP per capita adjusted for purchasing power indicates wealth and money. The happiness score represents the level of subjective happiness. The size of the bubble depicts the population of a given country. This is, of course, the final result. Let's start by preparing the artboard in Illustrator. For our design, we can work with 1920 by 1080 pixels. You will now want to select the Datalon for Illustrator icon in the toolbar. Start by drawing a rectangle. Don't worry about the size. We can easily resize charts with the Datalon plugin. You will now notice the Datalon window appears on the right. Here you can select a chart you're interested in. In our case, it's a scatter plot, which is the basis for a bubble chart. If you click on the tile, you will see a number of different types of scatter plots you can choose from. The first three are variations of bubble charts. We'll go with the second one. The second step is adding some data. Now you can see the Datalon editor window. Let's start by clicking on Manage Data. Now select Add, and in a drop down list, click on Import File. This is how we add a locally saved file from our computer. Lastly, click Select Sheet. We now see that the chart is crossed out and an error message appeared below. To fix this, we need to do some binding. Let's do the following Bind x axis to GDP per capita, y axis to ladder score, size to population, color to region, and data label to country name. As our data is in the correct format, we can skip the formatting tab and go straight to styling. Let's increase the size of the bubble first. Go to Styling, Data Marks, Max Size, and change the value to 100 pixels, both height and width. In the same window, under Symbol, click on the color palette and select one of the categorical D3 palettes. Let's change the orders of the colors by clicking on the reversed checkbox. By default, the chart has transparent fills, so we can fix it in opacity. We can make the bubbles look sharper by adding a stroke of one pixel. Now we can style our axes. Let's start with the x-axis. Here we can change the min and max values to 15,000 and 119,000 accordingly. This will add some space to the sides of the chart. As we don't need the axis line, we can turn it off by clicking on the eye icon. And let's make numbers readable by adding a thousand separator. The next step is styling access labels. Let's add a prefix to specify units. Under labels, we will enter a dollar sign into the text field. We can place the labels to the right of the grid line by adjusting the horizontal and vertical alignment as well as setting the vertical offset to 0 and the horizontal offset to 5. Finally, we'll make labels stand out by changing the typeface to PT Sans Bold and the font size to 30 pixels. Similar adjustments should be made to the y-axis. Let's adjust the min and max values and remove the y-axis line. We only need grid lines, so let's turn off the ticks by clicking on the eye icon. As for the y-axis labels, let's scroll down to Labels and adjust the horizontal and vertical alignment, as well as the horizontal and vertical offset. We can change the typeface to PT Sans Bold and the font size to 40 pixels. The next thing is using data point styling to highlight bubbles with the highest GDP per capita, happiness score, and population. In the Styling tab, under Series, Click on New Series. Select the line representing the bubble you want to edit. Let's start with Luxembourg. First, we'll turn the Data Labels Property Group on by clicking the eye icon. As we want to place the label on the top left corner of the bubble, we need to set Data Mark Anchor to Top Left and adjust the horizontal and vertical alignment as shown on the screen. If you want to avoid the labels and bubbles intersecting, you can add 3 pixels horizontal and vertical offset. We can also change the font size to 24 pixels. We can now repeat this process for all bubbles we want to highlight. Let's do it with Ireland, Singapore, United States, Switzerland, Finland, Denmark, and Costa Rica. 
Please note that the size of 24 pixels and the offset of 3 pixels will work for each of the labels. But for Switzerland, the United States, and Costa Rica, we need to use different data mark anchors and horizontal and vertical alignment. Feel free to play around with it to your liking. If you want to make Costa Rica stay in one line, just turn off the Paragraph Properties group. I will resize the chart a bit, which will make it easier for me to add a title, a source, and a legend. To add a title, I will use the Illustrator Type tool. It's good to use a large font, so we'll go with PS Sand Bold, and the font size will be 60 pixels. Following the same steps, we'll add a subtitle. but here we can go with a slightly smaller font, PT Sans Regular and 40 pixels. And finally, to add a source, we'll use the same font and font size as the bubble labels, PT Sans 20 pixels. The next step is to add access names. Here we can use PT Sans Bold 30 pixels. Our visualization is almost ready, but hang on a little longer as we need to clarify what different sizes and different colors represent. For this, we will use an icon chart. Let's select the first vertical option. In the editor window, we can edit the data set. We want to have four categories, 330, 100, 10, and one. The values will be, respectively, 330 million, 100 million, 10 million, and 1 million. Data label binding can be removed. If you go to the Styling tab, you can click on Icons. For the alignment, we'll go with the first option. Then under Symbol, we can change the color to any sort of neutral gray and add a one pixel stroke. Right below that, change the distribution to Absolute. The maximum size here should be 100 pixels, both width and height. To fix the error, we'll go back to the Styling tab, select Position and Size, and in the Plot area, click on Fixed Positioning. Now, Category Labels are too small. To adjust their size and positioning, go to Category Labels, and next to Icon Anchor, select Center Right. Also, change the horizontal alignment to the first option. Set the typeface to PT Sans Bold and change the size to 30 pixels. Now I'll show you how to create a color coding legend. For this, I'll use the scatter plot default chart number 5. Go to Manage Data and select the same data set that we used for the main bubble chart design. Then let's bind dummy column to x axis and region to both y axis and color. You can remove the other bindings. Moving on to styling, go to X axis and click on the eye icons next to ticks and grid and labels. Now go to Y axis and next to sorting, choose none. To place labels on the right side, turn on the flip location checkbox. Here we will also turn off ticks and grids. A bit below under labels, you will again find Horizontal Alignment. You can set it to the first option. The typeface can be changed to PT Sand Bold and the size to 30 pixels. And turning off the Paragraph icon will fix the text for us. Let's go back to the Styling menu. And from here, we will go to Data Marks. Here, we can update the color by choosing the same color palette as we did before in the main bubble chart design. We will reverse the palette just as we did before. As the final touches, we can add a 1 pixel stroke and change the size to 30 pixels, both height and width. Using a type tool, we'll add a title for each legend. For the bubble size, it's population in millions of people, and for the bubble color, it's region. Both titles will look good in PT Sans 24 pixels in size.
And this is it. This is our final design. Remember that with Datalon, you can easily scale and resize the charts to your liking. Once you're happy with your design, you can export it as an image, just like you would do with any other Illustrator design. You can import the SVG or PNG files to your PowerPoint presentation, Google Slides, or other tools. You can also export this chart to our Datalon web app and start collaborating on the template. Make sure to visit our Inspirations page on our website for more chart ideas and get a taste of what Datalon can do for you. Do you want to read more about this type of chart? Then make sure to check out our Datalon blog and read about bubble charts, but also other graphs, as well as common data viz practices. You can also find the bubble charts resource page in our Datalon chart library. It's full of valuable design tips that can help you make your own chart design. Today's tutorial is also available in the form of an article you can read on our blog. It contains step-by-step -step pictures of the process. You can find all the links in the description below. And if you want to stay up to date with our tutorials, subscribe to our channel. Thanks again for joining us, and we'll see you on the next one.